This is Minda Bullock with Nice Girls TV. We're here at Dragon Con, and I'm so excited because we're getting ready to speak to Trina Keating, who plays Doc Yule on Defiance, and here we go. Thank you so much for taking the time to meet with us. Thank you for having me because you guys are awesome on Twitter. Oh, I tell you, it's so thank nice you. to have faces for these oh, for these tweet you. handles now. You are hysterical. <laughs> hysterical on Twitter when the show first started mm -hmm. I didn't have Twitter uh, most of the cast didn't have Twitter but Julie Benz is such a social media queen uh, that she really encouraged us all to to do it so I was a little bit like on the fence about about how it worked and what it was and uh, I didn't like it at first but I've grown to love it because I feel like I've made friends uh, I, I, there's so many people out there I just met hellbugs in love <gasps> really? and, yes. oh my god I tweet with them all the time yeah <laughs> yeah so it's really cool that I'm starting to like get faces for these handles but um, I think it's it's fantastic I think it's great that that the world is so the way it is now that we can like just reach out and talk to our fans and interact that way. Yeah, it kind of adds to the whole experience. You feel like as a fan, you feel like you're involved. And so I appreciate you guys doing that. So. Oh, well, we have a lot of fun doing it. So I'm going to ask you like an obvious question. Everybody's wondering about season four defiance. You, do you know anything? No, you know, you're not tell we me, just, but, no, we just yeah. said in the panel, actually, mm -hmm. we don't know. We really no. don't. Uh, we're in the dark along with the, the rest of the defiance fandom. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, fingers crossed but That's true. Yeah. so um how does how long does it take to become doc yule it takes about two hours mm -hmm. uh they've gotten pretty fast at it now but uh yeah they so it's they pull it onto my head and glue it down first they bald cap me underneath and then glue it down and then paint it and mm -hmm. so about two hours the sarcasm from doc yule is some of that you or is, or is that strictly the writers or because on twitter you are very witty <laughs> I think that it's well I mean the the writing is there like Kevin writes so wonderfully and he especially I think writes really well for for Doc like I feel like Kevin and I really get each other we have the same kind of sense of humor and same kind of sarcasm so uh, once in a while I get my own little uh, remarks in there I am a pretty sarcastic person with a dry sense of humor once you get to know me so uh, yeah, Doc's not far from me in some ways. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, season three left us hanging and you don't know anything, but what kind of adventure would you like Doc Yule to go on? That's, you know, it's... And no Johnny Cash. Yes. It's interesting because I was saying that when I saw the episode, mm -hmm. it's like I didn't really realize when I was shooting it or reading it that, like, she's a part of that ship now. I was kind of like, oh, well, that could be difficult to uh, get out of. Um, but I think it'd be fun if her and Nolan go on some adventures. I know that Kevin Murphy tweeted that he's got two words for the fans out there for season four, if we get one, and that was time travel. Uh, and then he said, and one more word, Arcfall. So I don't know. They're, I mean, I think that it's brilliant what they've done with the end of the season because they have tied it up in a lovely way that if, you know, God forbid we don't get another season, it it's it's a decent ending. It's an, It will satisfy the viewers, but it's also opened up to so many possibilities and a whole other world if we are granted another season. Do you have a favorite scene that you did with as Doc Yule? Is there like your favorite? Mm. I love working with Tony. I think that it's kind of evident in in how we play together. I always have a really great time in scenes with Tony. And I think um, one of my favorite scenes was actually in season two, where Tony is living on his own, and uh, I come over to his house and he asks me to help him bury the 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 dead the body the dead hooker as we as we called it. Um, <laughs> but uh, Doc comes in and starts sort of like cleaning up his apartment and like throwing junk out and stuff and I just kind of I loved that scene because I kind of thought it's it's so how they are they're like the odd couple mm -hmm. and uh, yeah they're they're like this bickering old married couple that would also do anything for each other absolutely do you feel like the third season was your best season I do I think that it's strange because we had so much time off between season two and season three we had over a year off um, and so I think there was a little bit of a fear of like ah, oh, I forgot how to play this character but I think we all came 
back really, really strong, and and the scripts are really strong, and the just the whole season is strong. And so I would have to agree with that. I think that we have found our stride, and we all know each other better as a cast and as a family. So it's, um, yeah, I, I think it shows. If you could trade places with anybody on the cast, who would it be and why? Well, I would want to be a human so that I didn't have to spend so much time in the makeup chair. Um, well, that's not true. I want to be a human Stama because I love Stama's character. She's so conniving and evil and I kind of love that about her. And I love characters that you never know if you trust them or not. Um, she takes those crazy baths all the time. I wouldn't want to do that. That's true. This question's gotten more complicated. I want to be Julie Benz playing Jamie's character, but in Arissa's clothes. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Thank you so much. For Thank you. Home.